Hello everybody and welcome to the project details for the first project in programming in PHP. This project is basically going to uh, show you a real life situation where you're going to have to use your skills in order to accomplish something. So for the past six weeks we've been learning PHP and how we can use it to apply in, in multiple situations. Now in this project you're, you're most likely going to be using a session or a cookie along with a post and a get request and playing around with some variables. So let's jump into this. You're going to be using PHP and HTML to create this project. Now the only HTML elements you're really going to be using are a form and a link. Uh, the rest you can do with just plain text. I'm not going to be looking for valid HTML. Just as long as it works, that's okay. But I'll be looking at your PHP code and seeing where you can improve on. Optionally, if you know CSS, feel free to apply it. That's obviously a bonus. If you choose to use CSS and you use it properly, fine, I'll give you some bonus points. If you don't use CSS, that's no problem. Now, this project, you're going to be creating a password-protected page. Now the password is going to be set by you. So you're going to have some variable in your PHP file that stores the value of the password that has to be the one that has to be entered in order to access this password protected page. Now you will also be asked to supply the name of the person who is logging into your password protected page. So you're going to have two input fields, one for their name and one for the password which you'll check against the password you've created. Now, let's go into the pages that you're going to be creating. The login page. The login page is going to ask for their name as the first box. So, they're obviously going to type in their name, whether it's Marcus, Bob, Linda, Joe, whoever. So, they'll put that box, or put their name in the box, and then they'll go on to the password. So you're going to ask them to supply the password. You'll hard code the password, and that's the password that's going to be matched to one they supply. So if they supply Johnny and your password is Rebecca, obviously they supplied the incorrect password. So that's the basic login page. Now the protected page is the one you need to gain access to. Now assuming the password they supply was correct, you're going to show them the name that they entered. So, so along with their name, give them kind of a welcome message, like welcome so-and-so to XYZ pa per password protected page. Whatever. Just something that they know they're obviously on this protected page. Now along with the protected page, there should, no, there should not be an instance of the login box anywhere. So if they're logged in, then do not show that login box anymore. But if they are logged in, then show them this welcome message and then any type of content that would be considered protected. There's no use creating a page where you don't want to protect something with a password. So make something up. Make a make a fake salary report. Make a fake bank statement. Do something. Uh, I don't know. Put, I don't know. Make up a fake email or something that you need a password to get to in order to read it. Now continuing on the, the protected password page you want to have an option for the user to log out. Now previously when we went through the session and cookies uh, lecture on Monday we used the checkbox and just have them resubmit the form in order to end their session. In this case I'm gonna have you guys use an HTML link and not a form. So just to give you a hint on how to accomplish this use some sort of git request that checks the URL if they're logging out. Now, you're obviously going to want to check that they're logged in first in order for them to log out. So, there's no sense having them click this log out link when they're not logged in. So that's a check I'm going to be looking for to make sure you made sure that the user was logged in first before they were able to log out. Now, for some extra points, uh, I've, you know, go down the topics and obviously if you don't want to do them that's fine um, but if you could think of anything else feel free to implement it and if I catch it then 
I'll see what I can do, give you some bonus points there, or feel free to make a note about it. Now here's some some ideas. You can have multiple pages that span across. So you're gonna have this ongoing session. So there can be multiple protected pages that have different content. So that's that's one thing you can do. So you can have it split up by pages. You can allow the person logged in to change their name. So create some sort of settings page where they can change the name that they want to appear on the protected page. How about, what if they continuously supply the wrong password? Well, go ahead and count the number of times they failed to log in. Now you can check to see if that number is greater than a certain number. So maybe five, usually five is the limit. And after that, if they hit five tries and fail, don't let them log in. Um, even if they get the correct password. So those are some ideas for bonus points you can take from this project. Now, in the end, you're obviously going to be putting your code somewhere. So obviously you're going to test your code on your own server, whether it's your own computer or you have some access to a server that allows PHP. Now, how are you going to be able to host this so I can see your code? Well, if you're only submitting one file, which it, obviously it's possible to do this, um, Use a, use a paste website. Here are three I suggest. One is Pastebin, another is CodePad, and another is Viper-7. Now if you plan on doing this through multiple files, I suggest you go ahead and use uh, Gist on GitHub, where you can add files to a single link, so they'll all be in succession the way you added them. Or feel free to post a comment with all the files hosted on one of the above paste websites. So if you have four files and you don't feel like doing the, the gist on GitHub, then make four paste bins and send those links and post, put them in a the comment. Okay? So it's easy as that. Um, I'm most likely not going to open any zip file if you plan on emailing it to me. But if you plan on emailing it to me, just email me the raw files. Don't bother zipping them up. Now, where will I be able to submit these links after I've hosted them up on this paste website? Well, the first one, you can post them on the Reddit post I'll be making. So, down in the description, you will find a link to that. There's also a link on the UReddit course page that will be directly linked to the, the Reddit uh, link through the University of Reddit subreddit. Um, you can email them to me if you want. My email is rec at ureddit.com. You can post them on the Google Group Discussion Board for everyone to see. Obviously, if you post them on the Reddit post or the Google Group Discussion, then everyone will be able to see what you've created. That's fine. Or you can private message them to me on Reddit. That's fine as well. My username is WOMG. Alright. Um, now, any code you submit... Um, I'll be looking at it. I will analyze it. I'll do my best to to point out any mistakes that you made or areas you can improve on. And in the end, I'll give you some sort of grade. You know, whether A, B, C, D. How, how do I how do I thought you did after f f six weeks of lectures? Um, so obviously, if you did this poorly. You know, you might expect a lower grade, but you can always boost that with throwing, trying, at least trying to do some of the bonus areas. Um, now, I'll, I'll, do, I'll allow the submissions until next Wednesday. So you'll have a full week to do this, and then after the lecture on Wednesday, so I guess on Thursday, next Thursday, uh, I'll post another video that that goes over some of the submissions I've received um, I may or may not do that it just depends on whether or not I feel the need to but whichever method you decide to submit the links whether it's through the reddit post an email Google group discussion or a private message I'll get back to you as quick as I can so have fun and be creative and I hope to be seeing a quite, a, quite a few of projects created from you guys. 
All right, I hope you guys have been learning, and I will talk to you guys on Monday with a whole new lecture. See you then.